Hello everyone, this is the Alexander County Parks and Recreation Football Championships. We're about to see Hit Night take on Taylorsville. And Taylorsville with the first play of the game, a very short gain, if any. I'm Rick Gilbert along with Jody Marshall. Steve Allen on the video, and this is the, uh, oh, these, this is my favorite game of all the uh, championships because these are the little guys, Jody. Now, how old are these fellas? These guys are six and seven years old. Uh-huh. And it's, it's basically, you see helmets, you see, you see shoes, you don't see a whole lot in between that, and it's great. So, Taylorsville. And they play on a shorter field, and we'll develop that. Taylorsville in the white jerseys, the white headgear. They got a little off-balance eye going here. There's a snap. They're going to hand it off. Breaks out of a tackle. Not much there. That hit night defense is swarming. Hit night, coached by Doug Fox, Ryan Price, and Bobby Hefner are the assistants. Taylorsville coached by uh, Billy Western. Of course, uh, Fox and uh, Western, both former Cougar football players. Here we go. It's the third down for uh, Taylorsville. And they need uh, about 14 yards to pick up a first down. And uh, one of the things you'll see in this game, and you, you know, you've got, <laughs> you've got young kids, a lot of coaching going on even during the play. A lot of coaching, a lot of moving them, even picking them up and just <laughs> putting them where they're supposed to be sometimes. Oh, I mean, I love it. This is my favorite. This 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 is my favorite of all the championship. It's the littlest kids. So here we go. They're lined up in that off balance eye again, and they're ready to go. They're going to fake the handoff and roll right. Now this might get some yardage. Breaks. Oh wow! What a tackle. That's a hard tackle. That was uh, number thirty two on the run, Malachi Bennett. And who unloaded on him over there? Looks like number eighty eight. 88 for Hit Night, Bryant Fox. My goodness, that was a stick. Whew, fourth down and about nine to go. Like so the option to punt. You've got the option now. Tell us again, I forget from last year, how long, far do they take it? You got 20 yards from the spot of the ball, and that will be the punt, and Hit Night will take over first and 10 there. Now, when you look at it, it will, it will be, it looks like it's the, the 44, but really, you know, we're playing on an 80-yard field. So the field's a little shorter, not quite as wide. It's uh, from the uh, sideline to the far hash. So they reduce it by about a third. Also play with two less players. We play yeah. nine v nine. Nine versus nine. All right, here goes the Hit Night Cowboys, and they're seven zero and one on the year. And boy, they've got uh, some movement here. A little uh, shift. Now it looks like you're going to do a wildcat. And run it up the middle, and this is a good yardage. Number 23 is Stephen Parsons on the carry. And, gosh, he's going to pick up about eight yards on the carry. It's going to be second and short. Beautiful night, just perfect. Uh, we had a bit of chill this morning, but this is autumn weather. They're getting to play here on the gridiron where the Cougars play. It's a second down for uh, the Cowboys. And they're wearing the black jerseys and the white pants. They got a little bit of uh, gray trim on those jerseys. All right, they're in their standard formation. They put them in motion. Whoops, we got a drop back there. And, uh, oh, Taylorsville's all over that. Taylorsville defense going to swarm the quarterback, and he's going down. But number five, Trenton Eckert in on the stop. And Nathan Vesperman in on the stop. So hey, that's a big play for Taylorsville. They, they kind of mishandled the snap, and now they're back for a third and ten. Now, you're not going to see much throwing the ball at this level, I don't think. No, it's, not a lot. Not a not lot. much arm. You know, they're just not quite big enough to go with, with, a, with an air attack. So they're going to try to sweep it right. They've got a block out here on the edge, and they've got a first down, and they're probably going to score, but I think this might be coming back. Stephen Parsons is going to carry it for the touchdown, but I think we've got a hole. Yeah, that's, that's what it is. 
Boy, uh, the officials spotted a hold. It's going to wipe out a touchdown run for uh, Head Knight. Back on the 30 yard line, 32 yard line, let's go. Well, from the spot of the foul, let's see where the ball is going to end up. They're going to take it back. And it's going to look like about the 41, although it's really the 31. Because we're playing on an 80-yard field. So now it's third down at about 13 for head night. Coach Doug Fox huddling with his backfield, working it out. Here's guy. Here's guys. What I want. That last play worked pretty good. Little double to the right. And the, yeah, we got a little movement, and that, that's going to cost Hit Knight five more yards. A little uh, false start. So they wipe out a touchdown with a penalty, and now they get another call, and they've got themselves a third down and about 20 to go. Going in the wrong direction here. All right, the Cowboys, let's see if they've got a magic third and 20 play. The quarterback is Connor Whaley, and he's going to run it right. Makes a couple moves, breaks out of a tackle. He's hard to bring down, and he's going to get within a yard of midfield and get a chunk of that 20 he needed, but it's still going to bring up a fourth down and about six to go. Actually, fourth down at, well, about five. Well, let's see what they do. I think they're going to go for it here. Yeah, I don't see Doug punt much. No, he's gonna he's talking it over with his uh with his backfield. Connor Whaley is the quarterback. He's right nope, he's not this play. They've got Parsons. Steven Parsons in there. He's gonna take the snap, he drops it, he picks it up, and he is going down. That's a good tackle by Malachi Bennett. So here we go. They're going to turn it over on downs and Taylorsville is going to get the football back. Good stuff. That penalty hurt, wiped out a touchdown. Now Taylorsville will see if they can get some offense going. They're wearing the white jerseys, the black pants. Here they come. Now, what are they called? What is Taylorsville called? I think they're called the Cougars. The Cougars. The Cougars. Well, that's appropriate. Taylorsville had to win on Saturday to even get to the championship game. Well, big crucial victory for them on Saturday. They're right at midfield. They're in that off-balance eye. They snap it, and they hand it off, and mm, Hit Knight is all over that. Look at that. Garrett Horn in on the tackle. Number 11, Riley Cleary. Yeah. That didn't work. Hit Knight's defense, uh, I guess that might be the reason they are 7-0-1. and It looks like they got a, a defense that runs to the ball, and it's second down at about 14. Perfect weather for this. It's just absolutely splendid. We our, uh, at the end of the first quarter, we're going to have our weather report. We've got our on-the-field on weatherman down here, so we'll get a report from him directly. A little coaching going on in the line of scrimmage here. Empty backfield. Ah, uh, what a defense. When he gets away, they didn't tackle him, but he still can't get back to the line of scrimmage. 88, Bryant Fox was there. 84, Garrett Horn was in on the play. And Taylorsville just can't get any offense going. Head night swarming his third down at about 16. This has been... Hitting out defense pretty much the entire year, just backing teams up. They swarm, and they did a lot of uh, lost yardage with this defense. They really run to the ball. Well, let's see what, if Taylorville can come up with something. The 
Can they come up with a play to move the sticks? Oh, that's over the uh, quarterback's head, Carter Childress, and he just has to land on it. And I feel pretty sure that Taylorsville is just going to elect to uh, do the punt. And they already have. Yeah, here they go. They're going to they're gonna walk it off. But Head Knight's going to get uh, – they're going to get good field position out of this. So it looks like the 39, but really is the 29. Well, they had a penalty wiped out by touchdown. Let's see if uh, Taylorsville can maybe force a turnover. Looks like they're going to need a short field to score against this hit night defense. They're lining them up. They're doing all kinds of things with uh, Connor Whaley is the quarterback on most plays. And he's got trips to his left, and that's where he's going to run. He's got a hole, breaks out. Oh, he's going to score. He's going to go all the way. Maybe not. Oh, I love that. The kid didn't give up. 32 is Malachi Bennett. Give him a star. He didn't give up. But well, we had another flag. Oh, no. Hit night again is going to be uh, have a big play wiped out by penalty. Uh, Bennett right there. Listen, uh, everybody just sort of conceded that Whaley was going to score. He didn't. He ran him down. Get your hands again. Come on, ref. Oh, the Hit night fans not liking that very much. That's two touchdowns they've had wiped out already. It's going to take them back to about the 22-yard line. Ouch. Well, that, that hold was was well downfield. They still end up gaining a couple on that play. Well, looks like that's the end of the first quarter. It goes quick. That's the end of the first quarter. And we have no score in the uh, championship. And how old are these? These are six and seven? Six and seven. Six and seven. We're talking first and second grade here. I love that. I just think uh, they've been out of school all day. That's right. I, you're right. They have been out of school. It there was no school today. It was a teacher's work day in Alexander County, and the kids, you know, probably slept in a little bit. Probably got on their parents' nerves a little bit, wanting to know what time it was and when we can go to the game. Yeah. I remember when I played, and I put that jersey on pretty early. First down. Here goes Hidnight trying to play through some penalties. They got some room down the sideline, and uh, the ball carrier will be finally taken down. That's Stephen Parsons on the carry. Uh, Fesperman, uh, Nathan Fesperman made the tackle, but uh, they got a first down to midfield. If Hidnight can wipe out the penalties, uh, they've moved it. And now we're underway in the second quarter. Doug Fox giving the play call to uh, his quarterback. It's Parsons this time. Snap it to him. Here he goes. Breaks out of a defender down the sideline, and they're just not going to be able to get him. Once he uh, got out of the pile up there, he was uh, free to rumble, rumble down that sideline. Stephen Parsons on a touchdown, and we have a score. Hit night has jumped on top. No flags that time. No flag. Didn't see a flag anywhere. Touchdown. Head night. The Cowboys are on top. And they got a little bit of, uh, you know, a little bit of Cowboy silver, uh, a little Cowboy gray in that uniform there. So now they'll go for the conversion. I guess it counts just one point, right? Yep, just one and Just this. one. They had a good kicker, it would go for two. But. Oh, he bobbles it. Whaley, he's going to have room. Does he get there? He does, and it's good. It's 7 nothing. head night. They have jumped on top. Oh, got a flag down, though. Uh-oh. It's like a hold. Hold. My goodness. Head night's sort of been their own worst enemy. Another penalty. Holding. 
Coach Doug Fox sort of hanging his head. He's not real happy with that. Now they're going to back it up, and uh, they're going to have to go ooh, about 12 yards for the point after touchdown here. Uh, really about, about 13, 14 yards. Yep. So let's see if they can come up with something here. Backfield gets their instructions from Coach Fox. Here they go. It's going to be Parsons again taking the snap. This is a reverse. Oh, this is wide open. There is nobody out there. Connor Whaley uh, could have just strolled to the end zone. Seven nothing. Hidnight takes the lead here in the second quarter. Now this is the the Pee Wees, right? Yep, this is the Pee Wees. You've got a. Nine versus nine. You've got two coaches that's allowed on the field at all times with their teams. 80-yard field, shortened on the other side. We play the hash over. Now, I'm all about competition, and, and nobody likes to win much more than I do, but this is about teaching. These kids are learning to play the game. They're learning about formations. They're learning how to block. They're learning how to tackle, how to keep that head out of the tackle, and, and you know they're learning how to hang on to the ball. It's great stuff. Okay, let's see if Taylorville can get some offense going. They are down seven nothing against an undefeated Hit Night team. The only blemish, if you can call it a blemish, a tie on their record, and my note here says it came at App against another unbeaten team. Come an app and they play the full field up there, so a little oh, different for our team dear. going up there. Dear. All right, here's the snap. Hit Knight's defense just swarms. They are so good. That is uh, Garrett Horn. We've called his name a number of times. He just came off that edge and turned it inside and made the tackle. Getting in the backfield, and there's something that you notice. You, you have four defensive linemen, and the next people up have to be at least three yards off the ball before mm -hmm. they can blitz or even go uh, when the ball snapped. Oh. So when you got a defensive lineman that can get the backfield that quick, that's an extra advantage for oh, your team. Oh, isn't it? Isn't it? Taylorville needs to get some positive going on offense here. They're having a little struggle against this hit night defense. Bennett will take this snap. Good snap. Rolls right. But look at Hit Knight just string this thing out. They, those outside players just do a good job of not giving him any running lanes. And that, time that was 15 Hagen Slate. Yeah, just a good play. And uh, now it's about a third down and 13. You know, they're not having any luck running outside. Maybe they can try inside because they're just, they do such a good job of stringing everything. They don't have anywhere to go. Nope, and once one person stands them up, the rest of the team swarms the ball in. Yep. Connor Whaley at linebacker just pulled a Luke Keachley. He was, watch him. He's kicking the dirt there. He, he, he's been watching Luke. Look at him. <laughs> Yeah. Well, he's that's a good player to emulate. If you got to <laughs> emulate exactly somebody, right. Luke Keachley is a good player to emulate. Oh, it's some positive move up the middle. There they go. That's Bennett. He may go down that far sideline. I don't know if they can get him. No. Touchdown, Taylorsville. No penalties, but we have a player down. What a run. And we do have a player down, and let's hope that young man is okay. Well, that's a great run right there. And you know, I said it's just not working going wide. Let's see if we can let's see if we can get a inside and that kind of work. Oh, he's okay. Oh, I love that. Look at him go. <laughs> he's fine. Got a little dirt on his jersey. He'll be all right. 
Don't worry, Mom and Grandma. He's okay. That's right. Got a touchdown on top of us. That's so right. Makes it all better. He's good. <laughs> It's uh, the injured player. Was that 98, Lincoln uh, Oren, or was that 99, Bill Harrington? I couldn't tell. Either way, they're fine. It was 98. Yep, 98. Lincoln Oren. I wonder if he's kin to the missile. You remember Zach Oren when he played at Alexander Central? I nicknamed him the, mid, the missile. Definitely remember Zach. <laughs> okay, let's see if Taylor can pull lead. That off-balance eye, full house backfield. They're going to snap it to Bennett, I guess. They do. He fakes the handoff, and oh, that's great a great play. tackle. Hello. Bryant Fox drags him down from behind. But we got a ball game. It's hit night seven, Taylorsville six in the Pee Wee Championship. Taylorsville just did what you asked them to. They ran it up the middle for <laughs> well, a touchdown. It just was not working going outside because hit night was swarming that. So if something's not working, you just kind of got to try something else. And Taylorsville on the scoreboard, and but they couldn't convert, and they trail by a point. Now, Hidnight will take the ball on their own 20-yard line. I know it says 30, but it's really the 20. We play an 80-yard field. So Hidnight needs to answer. And I think we've got a false start or an offside, one of the two, and I think it's going to be a false start against the uh, the Hit Night Cowboys. Looks like everybody moved with the ball. That yeah, time. pretty much. So it's first and 15. We're down to four minutes and five seconds left in the half. First of three championship games tonight. Uh-oh. Oh, there's nice a good tackle. tackle. Number one, Nathan Fesperman. Fesperman has made several tackles already in this game, and there was another one. He doesn't mind contact. He's playing like Luke Keeper. Except he's playing outside. He's more of a Thomas Davis Jr. It's, that's kind of what he's doing. Second down and uh, about six to go. Parsons outside and a tackle made and a penalty marker on the field. The uh, tackle was made by, was that 22, 32? That's, uh, that's the man who scored that touchdown a while ago, Malachi Bennett. Looks like going to be another hold on the Cowboys. I tell you what, Hid Knight is piling up the penalty yard. Maybe they should be the Hid Knight Raiders. You're the old days of the Raiders. They always led the league in, in penalties. Right. <laughs> they, they, ooh, I tell you, they've had them. Maybe that's why they score a lot of points. They hold a lot. I don't know. They've just got caught tonight. <laughs> yes. Well, you know, it hadn't gotten dark yet. It's true. They can't. Second down at about uh, three yards. Double right. Here's the reverse. This has got a lot of room out there, and uh, whoops. Taylorsville got turned around a little bit. Now, watch this. He won't give up, but he can't get there this time. Malachi Bennett almost ran him down, but not quite. And that is a touchdown for Connor Whaley. 51-yard run by number 21, Connor Whaley. Make your score now, 13-6. Big run. Hit night didn't take long to answer, and they're up 13-6. Taylorsville had a little bit of pursuit going that way, but they got kind of turned around and didn't get in on the play, and Whaley just ran down that far sideline easy. Comes with 2.44 left in the half. Hit Knight going to try to convert. If they do, it's going to be a 14-6 game. Timeout, Taylorsville. Yep, Taylorsville's decided they, they need a timeout. Uh, equipment malfunction looks like back yeah. there. Yeah. Now they 
They play on an 80 yard field. The field is reduced by about a third. And it's always my favorite games to see the peewees because I just, you know, they're so cute. <laughs> Mothers thinks they're cute. Now they don't, they don't think they're cute. They, they don't like to be called that, but um, they are cute because you, you see helmet and you see feet and there's just not a lot of body in between, you know? There's not a lot. No, there's just not a lot of body there. Mm -hmm, we did have five peewee teams in the league this year, so still pretty good numbers in good. the peewee age. Of course, uh, well, let's see if they can convert here. Up the middle, and they've got it. They've got it as Parsons going to convert, and it's 14 6 hit night in the Pee Wee Championship. Hit night trying to complete a perfect season. Of course, we had a perfect season for uh, the West Bulldogs. And Great Apple Bowl again this year. They completed a perfect season. East was undefeated going into the Apple Bowl, but West came out on top. So they've been some pretty good football in this county they've this been some uh, year. Incredible football this year. At one point, you know, both middle school teams and both varsity and JV were undefeated. And we're talking deep into the season until the uh, Cougar varsity finally lost a game. Well, Taylorsville's got two minutes and a half to see if they can uh, get a little closer. They're down 14-6. They got a big touchdown run their last possession, and they need something now. They're still talking about it in the huddle. Here they go. Gonna need a big answer here. Mm. Cause hitting out will get the ball to start the second mm. half. It's big. Pee Wee, it's tough when you get down two scores to try to come back. Well, it, yeah, it is. Eddie, because the game goes so quickly. Here we go. A lot of talk going on. Let's see if this works. We have Billy Western trying to get something going. Oh, they look like they want to throw. Uh oh, that's up in the air and that's intercepted. Oh, it's, this may be a pick six. Oh, no, nice it, tackle. That is a great tackle. That's Bennett on the tackle and the interception made by Stephen Parsons. So, a interception by Hidnight. And the Cowboys have it, and they are just outside the red zone. They're on the 11-yard line. Big stuff right there. I thought it was going to be a pick six, but uh, nope. Bennett, he can make up some ground quickly. <laughs> he's, he's made some tackles he didn't give up on tonight. That's, that's a great trait. Well, you know, Coach Doug Fox wants to get this score before the half, go up two scores, and feel pretty comfortable going into the second half and they're going to get the ball. They've got it. Here they go. It'll be Parsons to take the snap. Whaley is over in a right slot. He ran it in for a score the last trip. Parsons going to keep it. Run right. Comes out of a tackle. Comes out of another one. And finally, they gang him at about the 10-yard uh, line. Number 99, Eli Harrington in on the tackle. Number one, Nathan Festerman. Well, if you're Taylor, well, you just want to run this clock out. And they can get a first down. He might get a first down on the one. But we are down to 118 remaining in the uh, first half. Now, who we got coming up next? We got the JV championship coming up next. You got Wittenberg. Well, it's got to be Wittenberg with the with the with the green with the green pants. It got to yeah, be Wittenberg, right? Definitely Wittenberg. Okay. Second down, about three. Uh oh. 
That's Whaley out there, and uh, they're not going to get him. That's another touchdown for him, and that interception turns into a touchdown, and Hidnight starting to pull away a little bit here. It's 20-6. to six. Hidnight cheerleaders into it down yeah, there. Yeah, they are. They're into it. Good looking. They got, the, they got it going on down there. They got the pom-poms. Nice unis. Mm -hmm. Looking good across the way. Taylorsville, they've got the, oh, I love their, uh, I love their pom-poms. They kind of glitter a little bit over there for Taylorsville. Well, they're going to go for the conversion. Let's see if they can uh, put 21 points on the board here in the first half. Uh-oh, ball's dropped. Try to get away. He may get in anyway, and he does. That's number four. Carter Childress on the uh, conversion, and uh, here we go. It is all hit night right now. They are up 21 to six. We appreciate you joining us on the government channel for tonight's game. Steve Allen on the uh, camera as he is during uh, the Cougar football season. Sometimes he has to be out in the elements. Sometimes he's like on top of the press box. Uh, some of the press boxes don't have a level for the camera people unless it's outside. And sometimes he has to stand in the rain. <laughs> Although the weather's been good this year for him. I mean, he's not had to struggle much. Oh, Taylors will need something to happen, and this might be the last play of the half. Let's see if they can, yeah, there's that hit night pursuit, but he gets away and they flush him out of bounds with about 10 seconds left in the uh, first half. Being up with a nice another run there, yeah. box on the tackle. 10 seconds, 10.7 seconds left on that uh, Mitchell Gold Bob Williams scoreboard. And, you know, they put that in here last year and it made a great addition to this stadium. It is a terrific scoreboard. We sure needed it. This might be the last play of the half. All right, they're working on it here. They need to make, this would be huge if they could get a score on this last play, if it is indeed the last play. Bennett can't handle the high snap and he's in trouble. And, get a timeout. Well, Taylor's are going to take a timeout. They're, they're, they're going to fight for it. Uh, one of the uh, Hidden Night players getting up a little slowly. That's Riley Clary, but he's okay. Third down and eight. Ball on the 23-yard Taylor will use that timeout, so here they go. Bennett's just going to run it. If he can get away from one defender, he's got some room. Oh! Breaks out of another tackle. He's tough, but he can't get free. And that's the end of the first half. Taylorsville trails hit night at the break by a score of 21 to 6. Here in the Pee Wee Championship at the half. We'll be back with the second half in just a moment. We go to the second half of the Pee Wee Championship, and the undefeated Hit Night Cowboys had their way in that first half. They lead it by a score of 21 6. Uh, Taylorsville got within 7 6, but it's been all Hit Night since. And now Hit Night's going to get the ball to start the. Uh, second half here and that's not good for Taylorsville because uh, uh, Hit Night's kind of been reeling off the points here lately. Let's see if uh, they, Taylorsville can uh, stop them. They try to get back the in this game. Of the game. They did. They stopped. Boy, penalties helped too. Yeah, penalties was big. Hit Night's had a few of those in this game. They've had a couple touchdowns wiped out.
Well, Head Knight's got, well, that's number four. That's Carter Childress is going to be the uh, quarterback on this play. And they've got them lined up the way they want them. Here we go. A little motion. They give it to the motion man. He sweeps right, gets to, oh, he may run for a while. They've got him. Maybe. No, nope, he runs out of it and gets across midfield into uh, Taylorsville territory. That was pretty good. That was a nice run. Stephen Parsons didn't give up, kept going. And he's got it to the 36-yard line. I know it says 46, but again, where they play an 80-yard field. First down at 10, ball the 36-yard line versus the Cowboys. All right, here they come. Same play, but they're going to reverse it. Double. And this is Whaley, and he's had a big night. Here he goes. And, oh, he's going to score, but it's coming back. There's uh, penalties all over, and I think Whaley knows that. <laughs> he already knows that. Oh, they're going to wipe this out. Yeah, they've got him for a hold. Looked like two of them had one of the yeah. Tetherstall guys just wrapped up there. Yeah. And you get flags from all the refs. They pretty much got that one. Yeah, right. yeah. You know, sometimes, yeah, when, when everybody throws it, that, that's pretty much a flashing neon sign that uh, somebody has. Well, it's going to back them up. It was downfield, though. They're still going to gain some yardage on that play. First down at about seven. Coach Doug Fox, a former offensive lineman himself. And I know he's not teaching them the whole. I mean, probably not. <laughs> <laughs> a little movement up. Well, you know, there. all good coaches, the offensive line goes a procedure. They'll, you know, they'll, they'll, they'll teach you what you can get by with. You know, here's what you can do. <laughs> and I'm sure Doug you know, has a few way. tricks up oh, his yeah, sleeve that yeah, he's used yeah, in his day. That's right. No well, the officials trying to work this out. They got back them up. Yeah, they didn't want, they didn't mark off the yeah. penalty. Now they they're going to do it, and it's going to be essentially a first and ten again. Ball right on the thirty-seven. Well, we're back where we started now. We are. All right, Whaley behind center. Oops. He picks it up down that sideline and runs into the defender. Number 13, uh, Dallas Smith. Good tackle. Got a player down for Taylorsville. I think he's okay. He's just. Now he's up. Yeah, he just motioned to the coach. I'm all right. I'm okay. That's Vesperman. He's been in a lot of stops in this game. Coach Billy Western went over now. Billy was a hard-nosed running back in his day for the Cougars. It's a first down at the 26. They're going to hand it off. Tries to get outside, makes a move, and down he goes. Number 13 again, Dallas yep. Smith. With Smith with a couple tackles here. That was Carter Childers on the run, and they'll put it on the 21. It's second down, and well, about five to go. Another score here, and it would be awfully hard for Taylorsville to come back and win this game. Drives all about chewing the clock up, getting yards. They're doing it. Parsons will take the snap this time. He not uses a lot of different people at quarterback. 
fake the uh, jet sweep, so to speak, and he's going to run it down the far sideline. Well, that's a good tackle right there. Yeah, that's Bennett. Malachi Bennett again. Bennett just crunched him out of bounds, made sure he went down. So it's on the 10, and it's goal to go. Hit night up 21-6. We're early in the third in the Pee Wee Championship tonight. Doug's telling him right now we're not going to get caught for holding on this play. you got Childers who's going to quarterback this play. He's just holding it for his man to run around the end. That's Parsons, and he makes a little move and strolls into the end zone. Well, Hid Knight starting to show why they're undefeated now. They had only a one-point lead, but since then it has been all Cowboys. Yep, flexing that muscle a little bit here. Yeah. You know, it's a different game when your coach ties your shoe for you. You know, <laughs> I love that. <laughs> yeah, you don't see that on Friday night, do you? No, you don't. You don't see that. Not at all. That might be what they're doing on Sunday when they kneel as tying their shoes. <laughs> I. Well, here goes the conversion attempt. They've got him strung out, but he reverses it, and he's in there. But they're going to throw a penalty. Now, that was Hagen Slate, but I don't know that that one's going to stand either. It's like a block in the back. Yeah, that's what they got. Block in the back against Head Knight. They've had a lot of penalties. They're up 4.39 left in the third. Head Knight took the uh, possession to start the period, and they marched it for a score. And they're trying to add the point after touchdown, but uh, they're backing up. So here we go. There's that reverse again. And does he get there? No, they're going to stop him this time. Hagen Slate didn't make it. Taylors will stack him up. In there on the uh, tackle was number four, Carlos McKeithen, Jr. And here we go with the uh, possession by Taylorsville, and they better hurry because they're in trouble. They're down 27-6. Uh, to six. Now, these kids, you know, they got to go to school tomorrow. On Halloween. That's right. That's right. Tomorrow's <laughs> Halloween. Oh, yeah. So they're jacked up for this game tonight. Yeah. They're going to be jacked Maybe up the rest of the week. Maybe they should have played the game Tuesday when they still were under the influence of that sugar rush. <laughs> <laughs> Taylor's trying to get something going. They're going to have to use a timeout. They just don't like what they have here. They're just going to use a timeout. So there you go. Taylor will burn a, a timeout, and they're just, they just—they got to try to figure out some way to get a quick score here. They've tried one pass in this game. That didn't work. It was intercepted. It's tough for these kids to throw. I mean, they're just not hardly big enough to uh, hoist it very far. Billy told me on Saturday after the game he had a few pass plays in that he hadn't run much this year. Try to do something a little different against this stingy defense. Yeah, well, you got to try something. They're talking it over. All right, we got coming up, we got the uh, JV Championship, Wittenberg. And who are they playing? Playing the Sugarloaf Badgers. They're playing Sugarloaf, okay. All right, they got it figured out. They're going to they're gonna start this possession on their 20 and see if they can come up with something. They are down big, 27-6. to six. Not exactly working out the way they plan. All right, here we go. Bennett's going to take the snap. 
He's going to hand it off, and that's not that's just not going to work. Good defense there by Hidnight. Man, they are swarming. That's Riley Clary on the tackle. Number 11, Riley Clary. Also on the play, brings up second down in 13. They saw uh, Hagen Slate do the Luke Keeksley thing too. You know, Luke will bang on his helmet right there. You know, it's a signal to his teammates. He was doing it. He's watched him do it. So he that's a signal. Still trying to organize and put them where they want them. Something else you don't see on Friday nights, whispering in a player's ear. <laughs> Well, they're going to try to sweep it, and, oh, that's a nice tackle. Parsons. Yeah, Stephen Parsons, that's a good tackle right there. Actually, you know, you do see some whispering in the ear, but it's usually by the, the opponent, you know. They, yes. They, they will. We got a Taylorsville player down on the field. Let's hope that uh, that young man is okay. He's got to go to school tomorrow. He's got Halloween tomorrow, too. They've got him up. He's going to be okay. It's like Festerman. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Festerman's going to be all right. He's going to go off a moment. Third down, and gosh, about 13 to go for Taylorsville. They're just having a hard time. They had that one big play that scored. But that's been about all they were able to muster. Hidnight's defense just been all over the place. It's like they've got a couple extra players out there. Here's the snap. Fake the handoff. They're gonna keep it and run. Gets out of one tackler, gets away from another, but not that one. It's like Parsons again on him. Yeah, crunched him. He made a couple guys miss in the back. Yeah, man, I tell you, they're they're in a hard way here. They're just gonna have to punt, I think. Or are they? Not player down now. Yeah, we got another player down. He's up. He's fine. He's good. Riley Clary got up a little slowly, but he's okay now. Cason Ford Hefner comes into the game on the defensive line for Hef for uh, Hidnight. Going out over there is Kyle Dishman for uh, Taylorsville. I see if they can get some going here. The 99 Eli Harrington snaps it. Big fourth down here for Taylorsville. Yeah, they're going to go. They're, they, they're down big, 27-6. to six. They're going to try to pull off a big play. There's a snap. Gets away from one, but there's a really good tackle. Parsons again. Yeah, he's been all over the place. And uh, Hit Knight with a short field will take over already up 27-6. to six. And this one uh, has tilted heavily in the way of the Cowboys. They're trying to go undefeated on the season, and they're looking the part right now. One thing about these games, you know, the the Pee Wee game can kind of drag sometimes because they, they, well, let's be honest, the attention span for this age is, uh, it's not the greatest sometimes. No. 
<laughs> and it can be very slow. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is like you see, you've had kids you got, getting hurt. You got every yeah. Other play. You got to do this and you got to do that. And and but they're learning to play football, and that's going to end the third quarter <laughs> with Head Knight <laughs> in control, twenty-seven to six in the uh, Pee Wee Championship of the Alexander County Parks and Recreation. Basketball getting ready to crank up. Yep, last day of sign-ups tomorrow, Halloween. Yep. Yeah. Uh, are you ready to start? Now, what are the ages season? for basketball? We have a co-ed 5-6, and then we have a Oh, that's got to be great. 7-8 boys and girls, 9-10 boys and girls, 11 and 12 boys and girls, 13-15 boys. And we offer 13-16 girls. It's not made in several years, but uh, it is offered. We'll be looking to start Jesse Riddle tournament December 1st and get that season underway. Well, the weather's going to be turning cold. People are going to be going into the gym. Hit night, fumble in the backfield. They pick it up, though. And, ooh, ooh. That is a hard tackle by number 32. That's Malachi Bennett. Bennett. <laughs> That's ooh. the proverbial slobber knocker right there. Uh, he's okay. Carry on the play by number thirty-three. Yeah, we don't have a thirty-three we on don't. the head night no. roster. Mister X just uh, carried that ball and he really got hit hard. He says he's good right there. He's okay. Now. Well, it's second down and about six. We're in the fourth quarter. Hit night up 27 6. They're going to crank the clock. Here we go. Too much pursuit out there for Taylorsville, and a, a, for good measure, a late penalty marker comes flying in. Lots of uh, Taylorsville players in on that one. 44 is uh, Jackson Davis. He was there. Also on the tackle, number 99, Eli Harrington. Eli Harrington in on the stop. What are they? Face uh, mask. Uh oh. You never do that at any level. They're going to refuse it. It's third down. Refuses it. Yep. Officials crank the clock. It's a third down for Hidnight. Oh, good tackle out there for uh, Taylorsville. Again. Yeah, he's been all over. He's, he's been their leader on defense. He's made a lot of stops in this game. And again, a player getting up slowly, but he's okay. There he goes. He's up. I think he's just angry more than uh, hurt. He got tackled, and uh, it just wasn't that wasn't the play. I, I wasn't supposed to get tackled, Coach, on that play, but I did. Fourth down, and we'll call it four. For hit night. Here we go. Oh, that's great defense all over that play. Nice play. Yeah, there Bennett. he is. Bennett again. He's been everywhere too. And uh, that's going to give Taylorsville the ball down 27 6. So uh, on they come. Turnover on down be first in Dan for the Cougars. Well, nice stop by Taylorsville. While we're at it, I'll run through the Taylorsville roster. Do that. Quick. You have number one, Nathan Fesperman. Number four, Carlos McKeithen Jr. Number five, Trenton Eckerd. Number six, Kyle Dishman. Kyle Diamond, I'm sorry. Number 13, Dallas Smith. 20, Ethan Western. 21, Cole Emke, 
64 is Jeremiah Brewster. 26, Zacchaeus Parsons. 32, Michal Malachi Bennett. 44, Jackson Davis. 72, Zamir Howard. 98, Lincoln Oren. And 99, Eli Harrington. Well, that's the uh, Taylorsville roster. They have it, and they're down 27. So let's see if they can make a, you know, at least get another touchdown on the board here. Make it a little closer. End the season on a good note. There you there. go. Try to sweep it right. That's a really good tackle made there. 88 Brian yeah. Fox. Yeah. 550 it's running. Uh, the Hidden Knight Rusher will try to run it down. Corbin Millsaps is number three. Carter Childers, Riley Clary, Joshua Rivera. Hagen Slate wears 15. Jonathan McCall, number 20. Connor Whaley is number 21. Stephen Parsons, number 23. Kalen Lott, Merrick Price, Kaysen Ford Hefner, Garrett Horn, and Bryant Fox. That's the Hidden Knight Cowboys. And they lead it 27 to 6. We're coming up on five minutes left in the Pee Wee Championship tonight. We've got two games remaining. Uh-oh. Gets oh, away. Nice oh, yeah, 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 yeah. There he goes, Bennett. He's going to score. Big run. He made a nice move. He kind of showed him a little bit of leg and took it away. And down that far sideline, he goes. Big run. That makes it a little closer. It's 27-12. I don't think you can onside giving him the ball. No. <laughs> no. Have you got a rule in place when you're X amount of points down, you get the ball again? I haven't got that rule. Yeah, that's something we could look at. Yeah, I might be give something. It a little, you know. Give it a little interesting look at the Although end of the game. they've kind of gotten, you know, within a couple scores. Yeah. Now. I'm sure, hidden out wouldn't like that very no, much. No, they're not, gonna, they're not gonna do that. They're not gonna go for it. Not right now. Taylorville for two. Oh, that's not going to work. Good uh, pursuit by uh, Hit Knight, but Taylorville gets a big touchdown, and they are within 27 to 12. Four minutes and 52 seconds remaining in this one. The Pee Wee Championship at Cougar Stadium on a Monday night, a little Monday night football. Well, Head Knight's going to try to, I would think, run out the clock here. Looks like Whaley's going to take this snap. They've been shuffling players in and out behind center all night. Oops, they're going to blow it dead. I think it might be a false start against uh, Head Knight. Too many men on the field uh -oh. there for Taylor's for Uh oh, legal participation. Let's see. They use this nine on nine, right? Nine on nine. That's right. Yeah. Yard line. Oh, this may go. Oh, no, it's a nice tack. Again, Bennett. Who else? Bennett. He's been a big star in this game. Malachi Bennett. He's both offensively and defensively. He's uh, stood out. 
But they get a first down out of it to the 35 as we go under four minutes left. TV on Saturday and Sunday at 1 and 7. Well, we, DVD copies, we just heard that the Saturday and Sunday 1 and 7 when this is going to be on. So that's good. Uh-oh. This may go. No, they got an angle on him. They're going to get him. Nice tackle by number four, Carlos McKeithen Jr. Yeah. Had a little bit of an angle on uh, Stephen Parsons, and he got him to the turf. Number four, Carter Childers. Cougar football practice is over. They're off uh, on their way home. They practice up on the uh, practice field. Which by this time of year ha has just about had it. <laughs> it gets worn out. We go inside three and a half minutes. This might be a little reverse. That's what it is. Whaley, he's got room. Oh, another Gets nice out. Move. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's going to score. There, it, unless they run him down, he's going to get in there, and he gets in there, and that's a score. But we have a penalty marker on the field. Yeah. Hold. They've already <laughs> Doug Fox standing there. <laughs> he doesn't. Uh. <laughs> Well, you know, that's about three touchdowns that Hit Knights had wiped out. What are you going to do? Takes it back to the 32 or 37. Just draw it up and run it again. Do it again, yeah. Where the flag was, the hold didn't need to even happen. Yeah. But you tell a kid to block, you can't yeah. tell him not to block. Yeah, you can't. So he's going to keep going. Wittenberg warming up for the next game down in the end zone, but uh, Sugarloaf's way up there on the practice field. Well, here we go. Fake that reverse. And down the sideline, they got angles on him, though, and they're going to get him. He's not going to quite get to the first. Well, he might. I think he does have the first down action. He does. Vesperman and Bennett again on the tackle. They've been the, the lead dogs of the defense. So he gets it down to the 15-yard line. That's a first down for Hit Knight. Up 27 to 12. They are going to finish the year eight wins, no losses, and a tie. Whaley, does he get away? He does. He's got room down that far sideline, and he's got the end zone, and he is going to score. Connor Wiley on a touchdown. And we are up to 33-12 in favor of Hidden Knight. Taylorsville got it within one point at 7-6 early on, but since then, it has been all head night. They've kind of steamrolled them. But they did get a touchdown back and make it uh, a bit closer, but now head night has answered. As we go under two minutes. I had to remark the ball. We had it marked in the end zone. Mm, no, you don't want to do that. <laughs> Well, they're not going to. They're going to get it in there, and it's uh, it's all hit night right now. It, they, they're going to win. They're up 34 to 12. So the Taylorsville Cougars will try one or two more plays, and uh, this one will be in the books. 
Oh, I like that move there by uh, one of the head knife players. That was Case and Ford Hefner. He just did a slide into the sideline. That was pretty good. He didn't get his, you know, and listen, he didn't have his uniform quite dirty enough. He wanted to, you know, show something for the game tonight, and he just got a little more dirt on those pants. That's good. Not especially for the last game. Yeah, there you go. Gotta get those white things dirty. Yeah. Well, that clock has stopped with 49 seconds, and Taylor's are going to try to pull a rabbit out of the hat one more time. Here they come. At some point, they're going to snap it. There it is. Hand off. Ooh, short yard is not much. Hit Knight stacks it. And they blow the whistle. The clock, though, is still running. Oh, they're in a hurry up. We're uh, inside 30 seconds. So this is apt to be the final play of the game. Fake the handoff. Bennett down the sideline, turns on that speed and gets just crunched. Ooh, and a penalty mark. That was a hard hit. That was a very hard hit. Whaley was over there, and Bryant Fox was over there, and they, they've thrown a penalty mark. I think he may have called unnecessary roughness. Yeah. Personal foul. Yeah, that's what they've called. So Taylor Schultz will get one more play now. Yeah, he will get one more play with seven seconds. Maybe they can put it in the end zone. Now they mark off the penalty, and uh, it looks like the Cougars will run one more play. Bennett's going to run it, and down he goes, and the official goes down almost two. So that's going to do it. Hit night reigns supreme. How about them Cowboys? They are the champions. The Hit Night Cowboys win it by a score of 34 to 12 over Taylorsville, and they finish the season undefeated. 8-0-1. Oh, Congratulations to uh, Head Knight. Congrats to Taylorsville. But how about them Cowboys? They are the champions of the Pee Wee Division of football here in the Alexander County Parks and Recreation. Thanks for joining us for the Pee Wee Championship. Thank you so much for what you do.